To start the deployment of a K2 solution with the package and deployment application in K2.5, remember, as mentioned in the topic about packaging K2.5 artifacts, you also need to be a member of the package and deployment role in the target environment so that you can deploy to that target environment. Note, the K2 package and deployment application you are using may only have the source environment registered when you load it up, which means it may require you to add the target environment to the application. To do so, you can click the New button in the toolbar area and provide the connection values for the target environment to make the connection. I won't go into more detail on that here, but after doing so, the package of deployment application will then show the source and target environments registered in the application. For deployment, select the target environment in the server section, and select Deploy Package from the Actions pane on the right. In the Select Package window, use the Browse button to locate and load the K2 package file you saved earlier when packaging your K2 artifacts. Notice the full path in the File Name section once you have found and selected your file, and you can see the name and description of the package. Moving down to the Options section of the Select Package window, you will see three sections to consider. We have the Package Configuration, Package Items, and Analyze sections. The checkbox called Continue Deploying Package Items if one or more items cannot be deployed is checked by default. If you deselect this checkbox, it will stop the deployment if any of the artifacts fail to deploy for any reason. However, with the checkbox selected, the deployment will stop only for individual artifacts if the artifacts cannot be found or are incompatible. It will continue deploying other artifacts which are not in conflict with the target environment. If the checkbox called Remember My Settings is checked, it will allow K2 Package of Deployment to remember the options you specify at this moment and use these in future deployments. The setting called Automatically Map Matching SharePoint Lists and Libraries when deploying tells the application to analyze SharePoint in the target environment to search for matching artifacts. Deselecting this option will require you to manually configure any expected SharePoint lists or libraries in the target environment. For more information on using the package of deployment for SharePoint related artifacts, you can find this in the K2 for SharePoint developer course or at help.k2.com. Down in the package items section, you also have two options. The radio button named automatically select all items allows you to deploy all items in the current package. And it means that when you click next on the select package window, all items with the package are selected for deployment by default. The radio button named Manually Select Specific Items allows you to deploy specific items in the package you choose. When you click Next, you can select which artifacts you would like to be deployed if you enable this setting. Now, when we go to the next window, the application will run an analysis to compare the artifacts on the server with the artifacts in this package. If you run into conflicts or need to make certain changes to K2 artifacts like smart object locations, or dependency fixes, the application will need to reanalyze after each change like this occurs. The setting to automatically do this tells the application to automatically reanalyze after each change you make. If it's unchecked, you will need to manually reanalyze in some cases. Reanalysis works quickly for smaller packages, but it is advised to keep this automatic option disabled for larger packages if you need to save some time. Let's move on. At this point, the application will do an analysis, so I'll pause the video to save some time. Okay, on the Deploy Package window, you must assign variables, resolve conflicts, and solve dependency issues at this point. This window gives you flexibility in choosing to include or exclude artifacts for your package, as well as configure each selected artifact after reviewing the action and status columns. You can select Configure from the toolbar or right-click the artifact and choose Configure from the pop-up context menu. Also note that each artifact will show its properties, dependencies, and use by tabs in the right side navigation pane. If you find any warnings or errors for an artifact after analysis against the target environment has completed, you can choose to tell the application what to do upon deploying to the target environment. 
you could choose to overwrite, which enables the option to overwrite the existing artifact with the definition from the package. If you do this, you can also tell the deployment process to create a new version, which will create a new version of the artifact with the definition from the package. You can also set it to use existing, which tells the application to use the existing artifact in the target environment when the package is deployed. You can review the package and deploy documentation for more details on how this works. Once you have configured the artifacts that show warnings or have errors preventing the package from deploying, you could choose to analyze the package again, which will rerun the analysis of the artifacts against the target environment. You must resolve all conflicts before the package can be deployed to the target environment. We will talk more about that in the topic for resolving conflicts. When you click Next, the package and deployment application analyzes the artifacts once again in the package and compares them to the target environment and will show Deploy Package deploying upon successful analysis. This will show a list of packaged items and their status during deployment. The time and status during the deployment of each artifact will show in the right-hand column once deployment for the artifact is complete. A green check mark to the left of the artifact will show when the artifact has successfully deployed. When all is complete, you will be able to run your application in the target environment.